Hey, Granomaniacs, it's football season, and y'all see me posting my e-cookbook. These are some great game day snacks, man. Primo, the very best. Take a look over here. I'm out here in my pool screen house, and this is just a glimpse of what's in my e-cookbook. Take a look at this. We got some steaks. You can use filet mignon. If you're a fellow hunter, you can use uh, backstrap. Venison meat works great as well. I got a nice mix here. Garlic powder, rosemary, a little salt, a little cracked pepper, a little parsley. Take our steaks, give them a little roll here in our rub. Take a look at that. Nice little rub there. The deer right there out back running. Have to get some more venison. So I like to get a nice full rub on here. And I've got some goat cheese in here. And take a look at this. I'll give you a glimpse right now of how to make this. Gorgonzola stuffed peppers, man. Ooh, what could be better? Here's a glimpse of the Gorgonzola stuffed peppers. And then I'm going to take you to the grill. Make sure you have a nice beverage. Mm. I prefer a little vodka and ginger ale on game day. And you can take a look. You want to roll those peppers in olive oil before you put them on the grill. You want to cook about two minutes on either side. These are big, thick filet mignon, big, thick venison backstrap pieces. I, I will cook those for four minutes on each side covered and you want to go ahead and get freaky at the tiki and then for your last minute minute and 30 seconds or so on the grill you want to cover those filet mignons with some nice goat cheese oh this is, this is gonna be delicious take a look at that man Gorgonzola stuffed peppers. And look, goat cheese on top of that. Backstrap venison, filet mignon. Take a look at that. Oh my God. Chard on top. Nice and black and blue in the center. Melt in your mouth. Game day food par excellence. It doesn't get any better than this. Click the link below for my cookbook, eCookbook. Best deal in the culinary world.